on everybody this is DRC today I'm going to walk you through how to make a sample of a piece of music in GarageBand so to start off you want to make a new project you want an audio track and you're going to want some sort of software instrument track I just use the classical electric piano because it works um, you should already have your beat downloaded or your sound downloaded um, or song if that's if it's a song um, and you're going to want to drag that to an audio track in GarageBand. Cool. I'll play it. Cool. So this is a, the same beat that's been used by Wu-Tang in some of their music. So what we're going to do for today, we're going to count out four bars. Um, we're going to cut out some parts of this song. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the dead space in the beginning. There's no sound there. You can see that by the audio waves, there's none there. We're going to start it all the way to the beginning. And next what we're going to do, we're going to count out four bars. So in music, there's a pulse or a beat, it's the heartbeat of the song. Um, in this case, GarageBand has something called a tempo, um, and this song has a tempo, and they're both uh, different tempos. So the Charmels is playing at a slower tempo than what GarageBand is playing at right now. So what we're gonna do is match those two speeds, or two tempos up to each other. So if I play the Charmels, I'm gonna count along with it. Generally, music we listen to is gonna be in 4-4 time, it's a time signature. Music has um, different beats, like we said. Um, this song, 4-4 four, four time. 90% of what's on the radio, 4-4 four, four time. So you can see, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4. And you notice the song's going to change right there at that spot. It's going to be a new section of the song. That's where the words come in. So you're gonna to want to find that spot, and that's where you want to split the sound. And you get rid of the rest of the song just for this sample that we're doing right now. So right now, what I'm gonna do, here's our four bar sample of the Charmels. I'll play it back, I'll count with it one last time. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, Four, four, two, three, four. So now if we put a loop on that, it's gonna sound great. It's gonna loop perfectly, it's gonna sound fine. Um, what we need to do now, we need to make this fit into GarageBand's time. We need to match these two tempos together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually adjust our tempo in GarageBand to make it match the Charmels. GarageBand could slow down, but we don't want this beat to go any slower because it's gonna start to sound a little weird it's any slower than it is. So, I think we're around 87, 88, that's fine. You wanna make sure this is all the way up to the five, as close as you can get it. It's fine as it's not absolutely perfect, um, but the cleaner you get it, the better the loop's gonna be. So if I press play now, and turn on our click track or our metronome, it's gonna all line up together. So now I have the click track lined up with the Charmels beat. So GarageBand and the Charmels are moving at the same tempo now. So cool things now that you could do, you could put your loops into it. You could put your beats, um, whatever you'd like to put into it. So say I want to put a drum set into it. Definitely not. Sure. That one works for me. So I'll play it. So that's going to end this part of how to just line up a sample into GarageBand. Um, it's, very, it's not that tough. You just got to get used to counting along with the song or a beat. 
So this could work with any song. I could grab another one very quickly and down, uh, just upload it. Let's see. Shape of My Heart, sure. The song that Juice World used, line it up. Same thing, you're gonna count along. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Song changes right there, you can see it. So that's where I would split it. I counted at eight bars that time, so I make an eight bar loop. Adjust my tempo till it fits. Double check, see if there's dead space at the beginning of the song. Just a little bit, slide it over. It's probably not enough. And you have your loop. Probably be about 85. Make sure this is as close as you can get it. And there you go, now you have your loop. This will work with any song that has a nice strong downbeat to it and that you could count along with. If it's all over the place or a weird time signature, it might be a little bit tougher to do, but it's still possible. Um, if there's any questions, uh, feel free to comment below. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day, y'all.